G'day viewers, Prospector Pete again, thanks for joining me for another video. Uh, had another um, package sent from a viewer and I don't know if he has fallen for the same hype or whether he's trying to trick me, but nonetheless, we'll show you anyway. This is sent from a guy named Michael and I highly suspect this of being fake. He sent me 50 grams of gold leaf okay now gold leaf generally the real McCoy is pure gold so firstly why would someone send me 50 grams of gold that's over an ounce an ounce and a half something like that um, there is everywhere now <laughs> there is fake gold getting around on eBay and this is something I want to talk to you about hopefully to stop you guys from making the same mistake a lot of people are making and buying this rubbish from Israel. Um, I'll show you. I'll take this off the tripod thing on. Alright, so I don't know how well you can see this, but there's page after page of things being sold by uh, from Israel. Israel, Israel, Israel. They're all fake, okay? Um, okay, they might have something like these pins, and maybe they're not fake, but I will also show you that you cannot get a bargain on eBay anymore. Those days are gone. The first one is this huge bar of gold. Oh, this is the, the gold leaf. This is what makes me think it's fake. It just happens to be another 50 gram bag of gold leaf. Okay, and it says in the description... Um, this beautiful gold leaf flakes are not designed to be melted down okay um, we do not make any claims to the actual percentage of gold in this flake and What, what I think is wrong is that they're putting in their, in their uh, advert up top here 50 grams of gold flakes. It shouldn't be saying gold flakes if it's not real. Another one. This is their advert for their pins. Okay. Now, although they may be real, you've got to look at the price. $12 plus $18 postage for 25 grams. 25 grams is nothing. You'd be lucky, lucky to get a quarter of a gram. Probably not even that. Okay? Now, in Australian prices, that would not reach $30. You would not get $30 for a quarter of a gram of gold. So, and, and then there's postage on top. So, okay, so that was the price. Okay, I got this wrong. $18 plus 20 so you say $24, you still would not make $24 in gold from 25 grams. They're like, they're like saying it's a dollar a gram. There's no way you'd get a dollar a gram from this. Another one, this bar here, this is a big one. 315 grams. A gold bar that size, you know how much that would be worth? Thousands. Alright, and they're trying to sell it for $82 Australian. Not a chance, and they're even giving free postage. Now guys, these, these are fake. There's not a chance in hell you would get a gold bar that size for $82. It just wouldn't happen. And people are falling for this time and time again. So I think, Michael, I think you've bought one of these. But I will still uh, dissolve it anyway, just in case. I mean, I'll be wrapped if it's... Uh, if it's real gold, but I suspect it's not. Now look at this one here. 350 grams for $214. 350 and plus postage of another $40. So 250 something dollars, $255 for 350 grams. 350 grams might sound like a lot, but honestly it's a handful. You'd be lucky to get a gram, if that. All right, and so in Australian prices, that's eighty-seven dollars for a gram, not two hundred and fifty. There's no way you get your money back. This one here, 
3 ounces which is 85 grams $53 plus another $15.40 on postage for these pins no matter whether they say they're heavy gold plated right you're just not going to get your money back you know um, there's Israel another one another gold bar another gold bar look at these two gold bars $126 for something that is fake I'm telling you now you try and dissolve that and get gold out of it it just won't happen this one here fake um, this one here is a big one I wanted to show you this one 3.62 kilos I'm gonna open up thank you all right now 3.62 kilos you'd think okay cool I'm gonna get a lot of money from that all right now look what they're asking for starters seven hundred dollars in Australian prices that's a thousand and eighty nine dollars ridiculous and then when you look at this on the zoom it's mostly steel all right that's steel with a little bit of gold plating you can see by the color of this most of it's all steel if there's any plating on there it's very very light and there's a lot of steel in there all right there's it doesn't matter how many kilos it is there's next to no bloody gold on that thing the, the thinnest of plating you can tell by how look how it looks it's, it's hardly it's all whitish it's all silver also not silver but steel you know and these guys are just ripping people off left right and center and I want to help stop you guys from falling for it now even some of this that might be genuine like these things here sure it looks impressive three hundred and forty two dollars well you would never get three hundred and forty two dollars for that even these things here they look nice right but $118, you would never, ever, ever get $118 back. Never in a pink fit. So, and it's not just the Israel stuff. It's, it's from everywhere. Um, where's some more? This here, 224 grams. Okay, and you want $80 for it. There is no hope in hell of getting $80 for it. This one here, a whole lot of computer boards, $119. Now, I've actually contacted some of these people, and just in case they're, they're not aware that there's not that much gold in it. Some people don't know how much is in it, because all they do is sell the parts. Um, and they think, because other people are getting high prices, they're going to. There's other people who know there's not enough gold in it, but they're cashing in on the hype that everyone's getting these inflated prices, and they're hoping to do the same. Um, so anyway, I contacted some of these people, asked them if they would accept a decent offer, an offer where I stand to make at least a few dollars, and they all said no, because they know someone else will come along and get it. Now this here, 100 grams for $35, plus another $10 postage, $45. 100 grams, I think my lighter would probably weigh 100 grams. You would never, ever, ever get that much money back. All right? And it, it just goes on and on and on. There's just a recipe for disaster. This one here, 50 grams. 50 grams is nothing. It's probably about, I don't know, 10 or 15, maybe 20 nuts there. And they want $51 plus another $21 for postage. No chance of getting your money back. This one here, from the United States, sure it's legit, a whole pile of computer scrap, looks like, I don't know, some sort of circuit board or something, I don't know what it would be out of, but $39 plus $158 postage. And maybe if you're in America and it wouldn't cost that much, it might be okay, but not from Australia. So I, I just want to stop you guys from making mistakes. This one here. One kilo of, this looks like rain boards, $25 plus another $44 for postage from Israel nonetheless. Now obviously they're legit, but for that price, you will not, even when you do your fingerboards and you get your IC chips, you would not make, what's that, 60 70 say $70, best part of $69, $70. 
you would not get that back in gold. So, please yourself if you want to go and buy it, but I'm just I'm letting you know that A, some of these things are fake, and B, what isn't fake is very, very little chance of getting your money back. So, alright, so just a, a thing to keep a note of. Um, so I'm hoping that you guys now I've showed you that are either going to take my advice or um, learn something from it. You will not get your money back if you try and buy from eBay. Okay, occasionally there's a in it, once in a blue moon there's a good deal, but all the pr prices on eBay are inflated to the max. It's ridiculous, and it's not fair, and they should be stopped. But it, the days of getting a good deal are very, very far and few between. Um, so anyway, enough said about that. Let's go into melting, dissolving this uh, gold flake. I suspect nothing's going to come of it, um, but you never know. Um, what I'll do, because I've run out of nitric, is I'll use poor man's acrobidia, the proper poor man's acrobidia, which is hydrochloric acid and bleach. All right, so let's get into that. Okay, so I've got all the gold leaf in a beaker with hydrochloric acid. It may not look like it, but as I was putting... The acid in it just kept rising and but it's in there you can see it here so uh, I'll let that heat up a bit and then I'll come and put some bleach in it well I had suspicions that this might have been calm brass and not gold and now you can see it's gone all pink so that's the copper that's in the brass and there's a pretty good chance that this isn't gold but we will keep going We'll dissolve it all and uh, we'll wait till then but pretty clear to see that gold doesn't go like that that pinky color uh, come back well I just ran out of bleach I put the last of my bleach in there um, if it doesn't dissolve it's gonna have to sit and wait but uh, it's clearly copper in there now it's all pink so this stuff's probably definitely made of brass, I'd say. Uh, however, I'll give it some time, see what the last of this bleach does. And uh, with, with, with what's, ever, what's already dissolved, there'll be enough there to do a gold test with some stannis. So I'll let, it, I'll let it use the last of the bleach up. And do a stannis check, check and show you guys. Alright. This has been on the hot plate for over six hours. I've used way more bleach than I thought I would. I've definitely used more bleach than I would need to if it was gold. Now this is definitely copper, look at the colour of it. And because um, brass mostly consists of copper, that's all that's left. A lot of it's been eaten. Um, so at least we know we can do a gold test. But um, clearly by looking at it, that's copper. So, uh, I'll take a sample. Got someone here. And we know my stannis works because I made a video last week about it and I made some new stuff. Now this should go black if it's gold. Nothing. It's brass guys. It's all it is brass. how they get the colour because the colour doesn't even look like real gold it looks like it's a very low grade low carat gold so when you buy those bars and that they don't look like bright 24 carat gold they look like 9 or 10 carat gold so that's what brass looks like that's all this is is brass hey guys there you have it total waste of time buying those things from Israel because they're fake He's buying brass, that's all it is. But anyway, thanks for sending it. Um, it was good for a video. And it's good to show people who are going to be falling for this stuff on eBay not to buy it. Before I sign out, um, there's been a heap of people that have subscribed. And I really appreciate it. So I want to send a massive thank you to those of you who have subscribed over the last week or two. Um, awesome. Tell you what, I need all I can get, so thank you so much. Oh, this will do for this video. Um, see you on the next one. Bye.